Finally made it here. I'm here to meet up with a digital artist named Sylvia, whose journey into painting is uh, something quite interesting. Sylvia Kimathi has established herself in digital artistry, blending cultural ideas with strong visual representations for a distinct digital media presence. Sylvia's commitment to art is beyond a career choice. It's a passion and a purpose, powerfully portrayed in a successful series, Black Girl Power. Aha, uh -huh, here we are. Yeah. Ah, oh, I like it. I like the space. <laughs> I like the space. Here's a fun fact I used to paint. As a kid, I used to paint, was very bad at it. Well, like, finger no, painting. No, oh, not even the finger painting, like, legit, I once painted, like, fishes. I was told it was nice, but I was a child, so they probably lied. Was... <laughs> so, anyway, I gave it up after that, so. Well, I was cool. told I was nice. That's why I continued. Exactly. You. <laughs> so you've been painting for, like, what now? How many years? Okay, I started painting when I was, like, seven. Yeah. What? It was, like, a nice way to keep myself busy, because, like, so I used to wake up like super early and get to school like I was the first person to get there and the last person to leave. So like that was my art teacher was like, hey, come, let's go paint, let's go make pots and stuff like that. So yeah, that's how, that's literally how it started. I wanted to see other things, create, like explore other forms of art. So I got into more of like digital stuff. So you jumped into digital painting. Hmm. Yes, I did. So you pretty much had to learn this from, from scratch. Like, it's like a whole new Yeah, it's a whole, form. it is, but also painting I learned from YouTube. The University of YouTube, it helps. I swear, yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> and I've, I've seen some of the, the digital photos you've done. Like, that, that's prime digital artwork. Like, I can imagine it takes a while uh, to I'd, put together. Actually, not really. So this specific one, I did it, uh, this one's I did them on my phone. You um, did this on your phone? Yeah, I did them on my phone. So all this, all this work was just via your phone? Yeah, and, okay. and my finger. And your finger, like, okay, now, hmm, which woman should we start with? This beautiful black woman over here, how long was this? I think like four days or three days. Uh -huh. I actually did an exhibition based off this. It was called Black Girl Power. So it's showing different black women and their personalities. So this one, it's the same woman showing different facial expressions. Uh -huh. She's very chilled here. This is but then chill. this is her like being all flirty. It's, this is her being flirty and this oh. is her like, yo, Ebu, don't disturb me. I definitely feel you on that flirting bit because yeah, uh, my wife used to do that a lot. And that's how I realized like, oh, girls so they have girls like really me. Yes, and she hair. had, at that time, she had an afro <laughs> like that. So, yeah, I like it. Yes. How important was it for you to, to highlight black, black girl power? Um, well, Why did I, you am, a black, that? Okay, I yes. am a black woman. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, um, personally, like a woman in the creative industries difficult because first they don't believe that you're capable of doing it they don't they don't see that like you're able to do it so i started a new series it's still black girl power but it's more going into fashion like how black women wear like capable of wearing anything and how beautiful they are mostly like i really love painting women so that yeah. that's been a constant a lot but i really do also love abstract painting so that's just, it's a really, it's just a way for me to communicate how I feel, like, like therapy. So, yeah, it is, yeah. right? So the abstract is for therapy and the women is because I really, like that's where I want to go. Mm -hmm. So I also know that you've, uh, you've, you've done a little bit of uh, your paint work at, uh, at like parties. Yes. How was that? Actually, it was very, very nerve-wracking. It was so scary, but it was very interesting. And I have really, really bad anxiety. So it was just, it was a nice way of showing people that, look, you can have mental, you can have a mental illness, but still persevere through it. I could show you if you want. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So okay. right now, I'm working on the outline for the image that I'm working on. Ah, yeah. okay. So this is how it looks like. So I start with a, I start with the body and then the clothes and then now I put in the colors and the textures uh -huh. to make it come alive. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. So it's just, 
It's really just to empower women, like based off this. Like you can see how like mm -hmm. different women are wearing different clothes, and I use lines and textures to just like bring yeah. out how beautiful she is. But yeah, that's that's what I've been doing. I feel like creativity cannot work alone. You also have to be like, you also have to have a business mind. Mm -hmm. You know, people think that just because you have that talent, you can just coast through it. You always be good. Yeah, yeah, but life does not work that way. Like the older I get, the more I realize that you need to put the work in, not not for other people, but for yourself. Because, you know, life kind of just hits you sometimes. As long as you commit to what you're doing and put in 110% into it, it won't hurt as much. Mm -hmm. Like you won't regret anything. Because either way, life happens, there are things that you can't change, there are things that you can't control. So the only thing that you can control is yourself. And the more you learn and the more you want to grow yourself, like you put yourself in a better position. So I feel like that just works with life, but it also works a lot with, you know, creating... Yeah, creative work. Mm, even collaborations with musicians or with actors or fashion designers it will help you because then you'll get to understand another part of life that could help you become a better artist. I like, I like what you did. Thank you. Did not expect this. And I, the fact that you can do it so fast just means you're destined for a good thing. So man, Thank keep you. it up, Sylvia. I've had a good time. I will definitely tell my pal Remy about this so we can hook up with you next time for definitely. sure. Definitely, collaborations. Collaborations. Sub supporting artists. Mm -hmm. Cool. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day. Keep up with the creative arts. Thank you, you too. Bye.